Ayo, duckies, and Dilip here, back with another Streambot video, and a lot of people have been doing timed actions for, like, doing shout-outs in your chat, and I'm not talking, like, shouting out co other content creators, I'm talking, like, showing them links, make sure you check out my YouTube channel, all that kind of stuff, and a lot of people using Streambot spam the chat, and they don't know how to kind of make it so it's less spammy, and it's a, just a bit more clean, and I'm going to show you exactly how I do that in this tutorial, alright? Let's get on with it, put your rug over the stone, let's go! This portion of the video is sponsored by Owned.Pro. Owned.Pro have got absolutely everything for your stream. They've got hundreds of overlays and alert packages. And right now, they actually have partnered with Epidemic Sound, so you can get tons of loyalty-free music and sounds on your stream for a super, super cheap price. You can also save yourself 50% off your entire membership using offer code Andy50Pro at checkout. I'll leave all the links in the description and they go a long way to supporting the channel, all right? Thank you very much, Own.Pro, for sponsoring this portion of the video. I'm going to show you what I used to have set up in Streamerbot first. So jumping into Streamerbot, you'll see I've got all, right, all my different messages here under timed actions. So in settings, then timed actions. And I've got all these different links that play in my chat, like my PO box, if you guys want to send me anything in the post then please check out my PO box I'll leave a link in the description and you can also see all the intervals are set 600 to 1800 seconds and obviously I can do completely different random amounts but you'll probably find a lot of the times like it spams your chat so we're gonna fix that today so I've set up another stream bot here with three different actions. I've got message one, message two, and message three. And they basically say in Twitch, this is message number one, this is message number two, and this is message number three. So since we've got them, we're going to create another little action. So I'm going to right click and press add. And I will call this time chat events and press OK. And then now we're basically going to add all them different chat messages into here. But we want it to not basically do them all at the same time. So we're going to create a little counter and this is how you do a counter. So we're going to do right click and press add action. And we're going to go down to logic and we're going to say global get. And then this is going to get a global variable. So persisted, I'm going to turn off because I don't want it to basically save the variable when I close down. And we're going to give this variable a name. So I'm going to call it chat commands. And then the destination variable is going to be called global underscore chat commands. It's basically so we can differentiate which is the normal variable and which is the global variable. And the default value we're going to do is zero just there and press OK. So now we're basically getting a variable and if it's not got anything in it, we set it to zero. So then what we're going to do is basically count up now because we've got two different variables. If you remember, we've got chat commands variable and we've got global chat commands variable. So we're gonna count the chat commands variable up. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to add sub action and go down to logic and we're gonna go to global set. And this time we're gonna select global, but we're gonna turn persisted off again. We're gonna choose the variable name, which was chat commands. We're not using the oh, chat commands. There we go, chat commands, and we're going to change this from argument to increment. So we're going to add a number to it. So we're going to select one in there. So we want to add one to this number every single time. Let's press OK. What we've got now is we've got this chat commands variable. We've got a global chat commands variable, and it's going to increase the chat commands by one. So that means chat commands equals one, but global chat commands equals zero. You see where I'm going with this? Now we can create an if statement. So we're going to right click, add a sub action and go down to logic, go to if, and we're going to choose the variable if global underscore chat commands, because we, we're going back to the one that's zero, we want to check. Uh, we're going to say if it equals zero, we're going to do the action message one. So it's going to run the action message one. And then we're going to press break because then it'll stop and it'll make sure it doesn't do any more. We press OK. I just want to take a second of your time to tell you about our Patreon. It'll help support me make this content full time for you and you'll get perks as well. You can also support me on coffee and you'll also get the same perks and it goes a long way to supporting the channel. Now we need to add in message two and three. So I can just duplicate this action. 
if global chat commands equals, and we're going to change it to one, then we're going to run message two. I've done this a little bit confusing. Press OK. And then now we're going to do it once more because we've got three messages. So I'm going to duplicate, change this to three. But since I only have uh, three messages, I'm actually going to tell this to continue. The reason why I'm doing that is because if it gets to the bottom of these chat commands, whichever the last one is, we want it to continue because we want it to run some extra lines of code or actions just below it. And what we're going to do is reset our global number back to zero. So we're going to go to add commands again, go to logic and go to global set. And we're going to set basically reset the entire thing back to zero. So we're going to unselect the persisted because we're going to be changing the chat commands to zero again. Because if you remember, whatever chat commands is turns into global chat commands. So we're going to choose the chat commands variable and we're going to change this to a value of zero. So now it's going to be zero at first as soon as you turn on streamer bot. So global chat commands become zero and then chat commands becomes one. And then it's going to check all these. I've just seen a mistake in there. I need to change that to two because we did zero, one and two. And then that is it. So we need to add that to a timer. So I'm going to go to settings, timed actions, and we're going to add a new timed action. I'm going to call it chat commands. It's up to you how you want to do this, and then we're going to do it basically a pretty short amount of time. So I'm only going to do five seconds. Obviously, I do not recommend that because that'll be really silly. We're going to choose the action just here, and we're going to do the time chat events action. Now, when I press OK, I've opened up my Twitch chat just here. We should see it'll start every five seconds, increment in this amount. So it'll say this is message number one. And five seconds later, it'll say this is message number two, like so. And once more, it'll do this is message number three. But now it's finished. It's going to reset the number back to zero and it'll run this is message number one again. So it'll do that constantly in a loop. If you wanted, you can add a randomization to this and obviously lots of different messages. You can do announcements and everything like that. If you do want to know anything like that, please let me know in the comments and I'll bash a video together ASAP for you, okay? So big shout out to all these people that helped me make this content full time. Please, if you want to support me, join Patreon or also the YouTube members. You'll get early access to, to all my stuff as well, which is cool. I've got a lot of amazing things coming out soon and it goes a long way to supporting me, okay? Make sure you do subscribe and make sure you check out one of these videos just here as it will help your stream out massively. Put your rock over the stone. Much love.